Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, June 21st, 2015 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I feel the transformational power of my feeling energy. So today we are in the summer solstice, which in the northern hemisphere is the longest day of light. We are calling in the light. We are thanking the light. And we are moving the sun into cancer today. So that's where it comes in the feeling. So over the next month, over the next 30 days, we are going to be working with this feeling, nurturing, sensitive energy of cancer. And you know, the energy of wherever the sun, it affects us all in different ways. But through the whole, through the whole wheel, through the whole astrological wheel, it is really important with the sun in cancer to tune into that feeling energy. And you may be feeling different things depending on what your sun sign is. But the key is to feel, to allow yourself to feel. And what I think is really cool about this time of sun in cancer is that there is such an expanse to feel. We have Jupiter and Venus lighting up Leo, lighting up the light energy, lighting up the energy of the heart, lighting up the joy that we could potentially feel. And then we have Saturn, newly back in Scorpio, lighting up the dark, <laughs> helping us feel the dark, helping us feel those tougher emotions. And it is in that expanse of emotions that we find out who we are. I've been listening to a ton of Abraham, because Abraham helped me get into alignment. And, you know, one of the things that really resonates with me is Abraham, Esther, saying contrast. The contrast is so good because it helps us reach into what we desire. We're like, oh, this doesn't feel good. I don't want this. So it pushes you into where you want to go. It pushes you into the light. So it's so amazing having Saturn in Scorpio in our root showing us our fears and insecurities and all that, pushing us up into the light, up into what we truly want to bring. So feel that transformational power of your feeling energy. And the other thing about the light, because today is so focused on the light, being the summer solstice, um, this is where the sun is in its mo mo bleh, 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 <laughs> sorry, most northern point in the sky. So we're just looking up and there's the light. But I think one of the most incredible things about the light is even a hint of light in the darkness dispels the darkness. You can't call it darkness when there's just even a hint of light. So remember that today and find gratitude for the light. So speaking of the light and sun and cancer and, um, and all this, we actually are building to another really cool little combination. Tomorrow, Uranus will be exactly trined Jupiter. So Uranus is an Aries, lighting up our I am vibration, reminding us to take action in who we are. And then Jupiter and Leo, obviously, is lighting up our heart. And it's really cool because they, these two, they've had an exact trine twice in this last year. But the first time, I think it was Jupiter was retrograde. And, or it was the second time. I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. But one time, one of them was retrograde. The other time, the other was retrograde. And this time, both are direct. So this is such a full throttle expression of yourself. It's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful opportunity for you to shine your light. So be thinking of that today as you're honoring the light in the solstice, however that is for you, whether it's by doing some sun salutations to the sun or just being out in the sun and saying to God, thank you for this light, or just noticing and feeling the warmth, the sunshine on you. There's so many different ways that you can just say great or say have words, they're hard. <laughs> have gratitude for the light and the light that comes into your life and helps light you up. So besides these cool aspects today, we have some other things. Um, before the sun moves into Cancer at 9.38 a.m., by the way, uh, Pacific time, we have the moon in Leo squaring Saturn. So it's one last little, like, light darkness thing before we shift into sun and Cancer. And like I said, the light wins. It just does. And it's not like it's a good and evil, somebody wins or loses. 
But like I said, the smallest bit of light dispels the darkness. So if you're feeling that struggle within you, reach. What's the next best feeling thing that can bring just the slightest bit of light into your feelings and help bring that, that transformational shift of feelings? We also have Venus in the evening in conjunct Pluto. So that can definitely be kind of like an uncomfortable thing. Again, it's the light and the darkness. Venus in Leo and Pluto in Capricorn. And so I think Venus and Leo just wants to have fun. And like Venus and Leo is kind of like a rock star groupie. And Pluto and Capricorn is kind of like the father of the rock star groupie who is like, hey, you need to get home and like take care of yourself. And so finding your balance in there. Yes, you do need to get home and take care of yourself, but express yourself and, you know, rock out to your rock star. <laughs> Whatever feels good. Um, moon in Virgo. The moon's going to shift into Virgo just like a few minutes after the sun moves into Cancer. So the moon in Virgo brings attention to our physical body. And I love this for the entrance into Cancer because Cancer is about feeling. And I think Virgo is about your health. So if you can really be in tune with your health over the next couple days, you know, with the moon in Virgo and moving into Cancer, you're really going to be nurturing yourself. And I think the better we eat, the better vibrational things that we put into our body, the better we feel all around. So see how those work together for you over the next few days. So that is it for today. Oh, I forgot. I had a card. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, moment to moment. So I love this. Because feelings, they change moment to moment. So don't let your feeling bad in the morning, don't let that take away from your joy that could potentially come in the next 20 minutes. And this card, I keep pulling it this week, turning in. You know, Cancer is a very intuitive sign. Neptune is retrograde. It is a prime time to be turning in and tuning into your own intuition. So that is now it for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy Cancer and happy Summer Solstice. Namaste.